make a day I'm on a pillow where my, my baby used to lay I'm up in the morning now I'm crying for the break of day I'm hugging on the pillow where my, my baby used to lay This is WWZ FM in New Orleans and uh, this is Bob French with some French cooking and you just heard the the original Dukes of Dixieland. WWOZ is a community station. We're here to celebrate the culture, the diversity, uh, the life, everything that makes New Orleans and the region what it is, what makes it so unique. At the station, we say it, it's, it's real music, it's real people, and it's real New Orleans. <laughs> music that you can't hear anywhere else, whether it's blues, R&B, jazz, gospel, um, funk, brass band, Cajun, uh, Zydeco, uh, Irish is very popular. Our Latin show is tremendously popular, as is the Brazilian show. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark. I do the Tuesday Blues Show, and you hear me once in a while crashing my other friend's shows to come in and play or plug a gig or otherwise abuse the privilege. They say the jazz started uh, St. Louis, Chicago, uh, Kansas City. That's a lie. It started here, you know, and uh, if we don't keep playing the music, that's the great thing about WWOZ. If we don't play the music and keep on spreading the word because we're heard all over the world through the Internet, if we don't do this, then it's, it's kind of a lost out. That's why I do what I do. That's why I play the music I play on my gigs. WWOZ is, uh, is beloved by locals, but I think it has even a bigger following by people outside of this country. At this point, we're getting about two and a half plus million hits a month on our website, and our listenership uh, probably around the world at this point equals our listenership here in New Orleans uh, in terms of our streaming. And uh, it allows us to, um, to really connect with what I call the community of New Orleanians in exile which are all over the world. A lot of them haven't even been to New Orleans, but they feel it in their, in their bones and in their heart when they, when they hear the music. Got my letter this morning, darling, how you reckon it read? Said her home by the girl you love and said, well, my letter this morning, darling, honey, how you reckon it read? Said her don't have a playlist at WWOZ and every one of our DJs uh, selects their own music that they want to play. A lot of the DJs are very good at taking the music and contextualizing it so it makes it you know an informative listening experience without being kind of a dry chalky academic exercise. They are really truly uh, uh, certified collectors and fanatics and their their joy is to bring in things that nobody's ever heard or can't find and totally anti-radio as we know it in 2003 where uh, the name of the game is to have uh, one flavor per radio station and to have a, a limited playlist of maybe 10 or 15 uh, songs and they just keep repeating and rotating it over and over again. I would sit with a tape and to record all the, the shows that would come on for jazz shows. And I, after a while, I had like this big catalog of tapes that I went to and I would learn the solos and from all the musicians. And that's actually where I got a big part of my understanding of jazz and the music that I played now. WWOZ played that role for me. Radio is changing so radically now that uh, this kind of um, hand-rolled, uh, accessible operation is just becoming more and more rare. We didn't want it that way. Uh, we, our model is kind of like the old days of radio when it had real people and people, and it was local and people could come in and have access and express themselves. It's one of the few stations in the country where musicians have an open door. You can come in with your instrument or with a recording and, you know, uh, it'll most likely get played right there on the spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so everybody come out and show trombone, show us some support. And uh, we 
we're gonna make it happen. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Local musicians know they're not gonna get their music heard on any of these other radio stations. Good grief. There's one company now that owns uh, well over 1,200 radio stations around the country. Those stations are all programmed by one person uh, who sets up identical formats across ge the geography of the United States so that the country and western here sounds the same as it does in Dallas, the same as it does in, in Kansas and whatever. And uh, we've lost the total sense of locality and localism in radio. We've lost a sense of spontaneity in radio. We've lost a sense of access and osmosis and being part of a community in radio. And so now this station has become more and more important to these musicians. I wouldn't do anything else but this. Wouldn't live anywhere else but this city. We have some of the greatest musicians in the world here. There are 10,000 people on that old burn ground. Didn't know I love her till they lay about it down. I said, 10,000 people land there. Enjoy the music. Tell all your friends. Get up on the phone and call everybody all over the world. Say, oh, listen to that Bob French. I had a good time. If you didn't enjoy the music, don't tell nobody. Bye, y'all.